LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has just revealed something amazing in their new cinematic trailer. The future game show was on the 24th of March 2022 and they revealed the final trailer for the game before its release date on the 5th of April. And in it, they show off the villains in a way I don't think any other Star Wars game has done before. I'll be showing you that new trailer reveal, the villains, and why they are so much better than any other Star Wars game in today's video. The trailer LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Darkness Rises shows all the villains that you'll be going up against in the entire nine episodes of the game. From villains ranging from General Grievous all the way to Snoke, Darth Maul all the way to Ben Swolo. But in this entire trailer, the one thing that stood out the most to me was the voice acting. One feature many LEGO Star Wars fans were excited for was the mumble mode. <laughs> A voice acting technique in older LEGO Star Wars games that didn't require voice acting. But after this trailer, my opinion has completely changed. All of these villains sound absolutely incredible, so close to their original actors. Corey Burton as Dooku and Matthew Wood as Grievous do incredible work with their characters. In terms of Darth Vader, it's a bit of a toss up between two different voice actors. In some articles, it's suggested that Matt Sloan is actually playing as Darth Vader again, which is actually a bit of a surprise because lately they been using Scott Lawrence, as he did the voice acting for Vader in Jedi Fallen Order and Vader Immortal. After listening through the trailer over and over again, I do believe it is actually Matt Sloan. But the person who totally stole the show for me was none other than Sam Witwer, who not only did the voice acting for Darth Maul, obviously because he did it in The Clone Wars, but he also voiced as Palpatine, and it is actually incredible. I could not tell the difference between his rendition and the original voice actor. Every little bit of news that comes out regarding gameplay for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been nothing short than absolutely positive and I genuinely believe that this is going to be a 10 out of 10 Star Wars game. While stressful developer crunches at TT Games is disappointing to hear, it's still really reassuring to see that if you delay a game long enough until it's good, it'll still be super successful. We've seen so many games be rushed out the door and it's just a half-baked vision of what it wanted to be. And with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga being delayed over 12 months since its original release date on April 2021, it's really great to see this extra one year of development has really made this game shine. And to top it all off, these villains in this game have sublime voice actors to go with it. I know a lot of people out there do like mumble mode, it's a very nostalgic feature, but honestly, when it comes to voice actors like Matt Lanta, Tom Kane, who did Yoda and Qui-Gon, and of course, Billy D. Williams doing Lando, it would actually be a disservice in my opinion to play your first playthrough with mumble mode on. For me personally, my first playthrough will be with voice acting on, and then when I play the game again, inevitably, I will turn on mumble mode. I do believe voice acting is an overlooked feature in AAA games unless it has a huge narrative. Games like Jedi Fallen Order is going to have fantastic voice actors because that's the core of the game, the narrative. But in games like Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, which is more of a comedic game for kids, it's very easy for those game developers to just overlook voice acting and focus mostly on the gameplay. So I'm really proud of TT Games actually doing something amazing with these Star Wars villains by giving them incredible voice actors. What do you think about the voice actors in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? Are you really impressed with the lineup? Do you feel like they're missing a few people here? And most importantly, do you think Vader's being voiced by Matt Sloan or Scott Lawrence? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in 
in the comments down below. I read all of them and I'll get back to some of you as well. And for those of you who are interested, why not join our Discord and continue the conversation over there? Invite code to our Discord will be in the pinned comment down below. And if you want super short versions of these YouTube videos, why not go over to our TikTok channel? We've been working on our TikTok for quite a while now and we've got a bunch of videos for you to dive into. So a link to our TikTok will also be in the pinned comment down below. But with that all said and done, guys, I've been Charlie, you've been watching X2, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.